Okay, so I left you guys at Solitude. Uh, I was, I believe, oh, sorry about my, th <coughs> about my throat, by the way. I'm just recovering from being quite ill, so my throat's still a bit up and down, I but... I mostly deal with petty thievery and drunken brawls. Good for you. Too long since we've had Go away. A good uh, but anyways, I left you at Solitude. I... I'm not going to do those quests yet. I'm going to carry on with the main story just for a bit because off camera um, I leveled myself up a bit. I'm level 12 now and mostly I just sneaked the hell out of everything, right? I literally just... I didn't walk everywhere. I sneaked everywhere. I literally just hold... Just put... Um, I think it's... Yeah. Put, and press C and you'll just automatically sneak everywhere. And that leveled me up like crazy. So, uh, the quest I'm going to do now, and as you can see, I've been around a bit as well, so I'm, I'm just going to do the way of the voice, speak to the greybeards, but I've been to, where is it? Oh, you can, yeah, I've, I've wandered a lot. I walked from the top there. I literally walked from there all the way down the map just to see how long it would take and discovered places along the way and it took forever right <laughs> literally it took ages but anyways I've been to uh, Markarth and I've got the Forsworn quest uh, I wish I recorded my entry into that because it is a really cool kind of entry scene when you go in so just enter there and you'll see what I mean but we'll go back to that later but for now uh, what we wanted to do was well, we need to go speak to the Greybeards, and it tells me they are there in High Hrothgar, or something like that. What is it? High... High Hrothgar. Oh, no, Hrothgar. Okay, Hrothgar. Oh, my God. High, high Hrothgar. High Hrothgar. So, let's, uh... Let's go there, I guess. Um, apparently, it's a lot of steps. 10,000 of them. I think my... Is my UI turned off? There we go, yeah. Uh, UI was turned off, so it's all good. Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? About to make a delivery up there myself. Ooh. Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. You. The greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. Well, they're, they are old, and they live at the top of 10,000 steps. What the hell, the hell are they supposed to eat? Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. 7,000? I thought it was 10. Uh, I could do it for you. Really? Yeah. That would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. All right, then. Um... Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever had to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem for the likes of you. Other than that, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. Yay. Um, yeah, I don't need to know anything else, so that guy wants me to deliver food. And I'm gonna. Watch out. Oh, crap. Yeah, I didn't want to do that. Um, also, I've for now, I've stopped doing dual wielding because it seems to muck up. Like, if I want two swords, it seems to muck up a bit. Like, and I don't know why. It never used to, so I think I'm waiting for the patch for them to sort that out. So, yeah, let's put flames in left. And there we go. Just walk up. What are these? Ooh, emblem one. Seven thousand steps. This is going to be a long, boring episode. Maybe I'll cut, or maybe I won't. We'll just we'll see how many how long it'll take, but you can oh off. Lone Wolf. Gah. See what happens when you play the Lone Wolf? You get fucked. <laughs> oh. 
Oh wow, you hold your breath. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot you do that. Well, that was fun. Um, sorry, buddy. Your your partner's gone. Oh, there's nothing in the goat. Can I? Ooh, <laughs> that was a that was a perfect headshot, right? <laughs> oh, I'm so good. Anyway, I think I shall speed it up until I get to High Hrothgar. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. I did. Strange days when the monks will do that. I wonder what it means. All right, then. Okay, so not sure if I already said this because it's been a couple of days. In whilst I was looking at this, it has been a couple of well, maybe a week or so since I've recorded Skyrim. Um, sorry if it seems a little sudden, a little jumpy, but um, busy, busy. Oops, busy, busy, busy. As usual, Christmas has just passed. New Year's soon. I'm working tomorrow and really don't want to, but hey, I'll play some Skyrim in the meantime. And I really haven't got very. Why am I just? I really haven't got very far in this game. And it wants me to go to the left. Oops. Oops. Oh, let me f I forget what run is. Alt. There we go. I've been playing too much Battlefield. Oh yes, and uh, I'm playing on my new monitor. So I'm actually in full screen now. Instead of windowed mode. So, fun.
looks like we're about to meet the Greybeards. There's, there's Gandalf. Hello. So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. Uh. Well, we know what it means, you know, born of the soul of a dragon, everybody else has explained it to us. And so I'm going to say, I'm answering your summons. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. <laughs> you want a taste of my voice? Okay then, well first I think you're an obnoxious old man. Oh, that's not the kind of shout voice you... Us. Oh, you wanted Let me to shout. Okay, I just thought you wanted me to talk. I'm going to shout now. Rawr! Oops, Do not be wrong afraid. button. Uh, shout Z. Ah, have a good taste of my Z. It is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here? Uh... That's a bit too much of a suck-up, Master. I'm gonna be... Well, we are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. You mean I'm not the only you dragon one? the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragon born of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. I'm special. Okay, um, I'm ready to learn. We are no! I said I'm ready to learn! Dragonborn, we will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. Okay, I'm ready to learn. Well, we are here to guide Stop you... Stop it! Pursuit. Stop it! Stop it! Just Stop it! You are not the... F whether you... You are the only one that has you know what? Review. Mouse. You have shown <laughs> that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without Ooh, training, about that. you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thune, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. Okay. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Ah. Ro, who's Ro? In the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Ro. Ah! What are you doing? Oh. Okay, what? Um. I'm just. Oh, okay, there we go. Just have to stand on it. You learn a new word like a monster. You truly do have the gift. Damn right! But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Oh, hello. I look a bit different to these guys. What did you say? Oh, okay. Um. Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Where? Ah! Ah! Force! 
<laughs> Sorry, buddy. Oh, my speakers are doing that king popping again. Well done. Again. First You learn quickly. Am I right, dude? Once more. Oh, stop going in the same place. It's boring that way. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragon Ball. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. My speakers are fecked. So I've got to follow you, eh? Hey? Hey? My speakers are off! Why are you doing that? Okay, I'm now wearing headphones because uh, my speakers are fucked. I need new ones because they're just popping all the time. It's ridiculous and I hate them. So let's go out to the courtyard. Look. Oh. That was really loud. Uh. Who's Afron? Oh, Afro. Never mind. Uh, Turn the master down. Is that part yet? Effects down. Okay. Oh dear. <laughs> Let's carry on. We will now see how you learn a completely new shunt. Where are you? Master Bori will teach you Wold, which means whirlwind. Which means what? Oh, okay. You kind of cut out for a second there, mate. You might want to get your voice checked out. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thumb. Okay. Approach Master Bori and he will gift you his knowledge of wool. It's going straight through me. Now we will see how quickly you can master a new shot. Okay. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate Whirlwind Sprint. Then it will be your turn. I need to go into powers. Uh, shouts. That one. Master Bori. Rex. Wolf. <laughs> now it's your turn. <laughs> oh, this looks fun. Me, Master Bori will open the gate. Use your I'm ready. 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 Shut up. I'm ready. Whee! <laughs> you right there? Talk. Boring sod. Your quick mastery of a new thumb is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? <laughs> Thought it was this easy for everyone. Um, I'll be like that. You were given this gift by the gods for a reason. It is up to you to determine how best to use it. Okay. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ustengrav. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. Okay. Um. Well, I'll ask all these questions later, because right now I'm wearing headphones, and um, Breath my focus. speaker system was set up to, you know, give me 5.1. But of course they're fucked. And now I'm wearing headphones, so whenever something is in the middle, I actually can't hear it <laughs> because there's no center speaker in headphones. Um, so I'm going to stop recording here. I'll render all this out and this will make a nice episode. So uh, I'll be back soon, guys.